Hi. Are you guys finished? Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. A little bit sorry. <laughs> These guys. This is Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, Thank you gosh. and welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm enjoying everything so far. Like yes. it's an honor to be here. Oh, okay. Such an honor. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy you happy. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it working with Gil and did you work with Dean too? No. Dean too. Oh, Dean was there. Okay. Yes. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> Hi Dean and Hi Miss Gilly. Hi. How was it? Was it was it fun? It was good. Yes. Like, just like a well, legend. You came in, these marker stuff. Like it was it felt good to learn it from someone who's like been there, you know. Since he was sixteen. Well, but you know, they were they were like Wow, like, and the way I thought about it, learning, it looks easy, but it really mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the intricacy of it is yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, I've been practicing oh. all my life, but then get into rehearsal here, I'm like, okay, there's certain little details that I definitely missed throughout the years, but it just felt good to like to actually do this and get part of this. Even I remember Anthony was very detailed, even when I had to behind my back, is it left over right or right? Mm -hmm. Yes, is it fist? Is it blade? Is it open hand? Yeah. Such a honor. Well, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Oh, Jimmy. I love you so much. You have no idea. I love you so much. Thank you very much. It's very sweet. So, well, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. Yes, yes. thank you. Thank you so well, much. Are you going to watch the show before you come out? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Oh, cool. Definitely. Yes. All right. And maybe you could come back tomorrow and just see the show. If you want to, if you want to just see the show, just see it. Definitely. Definitely. So I'll have to tell Terry, I'll get you guys two tickets each. Is that okay? Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. So much. Thank you so All right. Much. You're welcome. Gil, don't let me forget. I'll I will. try to catch you now. Bye, you guys. Bye. Yeah. A moment for life. Yeah. You see me sweating? Yeah. Me too. You see me I'm beans? so sweaty. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. My whole life was just in that one moment. Oh my God. You sweating too? I yeah, that's why I was like... <laughs> Look that. Okay, growing up, I've always been like a big Janet, not just a Jackson fan in general. Um, like I was the type of child to just come home from school and instead of running the streets, I was putting on the videotapes and dancing. Like that was my whole childhood and she was responsible for that and she kept me out the streets she helped me with a lot of stuff and she's the reason why i'm dancing today and it's everything is just so much that i could say right now and it's just wow. this is a moment that i will never forget ever i love that hey everybody listen when i say i manifested <laughs> having this man on my live oh my i God. manifested having robbie on my live but before we get our special guest in let me just say show love to my family i can't believe y'all are here because we used to do this at night what's up l what's up christine Teresa, who also saw this concert what's up invincible do i have to send you a link because i miss you so much girl and um i saw oh yes Absolutely. He is living. I couldn't even dream of nothing like this because, you know, I, I could dance, but not dance to that level. But <laughs> if I had a dream, this would be like the biggest on the planet. So without further ado, let's get my special guest in here. Hold up. Let's get up. What's up, Robbie? Hi. How you doing? <laughs> I'm feeling blessed because you you saw how I saw you. Yes. And you could tell you were clearly going home. And like, mm -hmm. I, I, I was like, hey, ain't that the guy from Janet Jackson's Instagram, the dancer? Yes. And then I went, hey, like how Michael Jackson did in um, um, <laughs> the, the Way You, you Make, make me, me Feel. feel. Yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God that. you turned around because I know how New Yorkers are. You'd be like, who are you hating at? I know you ain't hating me. But I'm so blessed. I literally was like, I hope to bump into him because I, I came the day after you. And mm. I said, I knew you were going to be there because she invited you. We saw it ourselves. Yeah. So I was like, oh, my gosh. And what are the chances? Like, it just happened. It was meant to be. You know, things happen for a reason. I was meant to walk down that block because I honestly wasn't going to go down that block. Right. Yeah. 
I don't even know why we were there. I know Madison Square Garden was annoyed with us because we stayed way longer than we were supposed to. We were inside the actual concert part where they were breaking it down. So yeah. security goes, why are y'all still here? And we're just like, huh? So at the time, I was considered disabled. And I said, oh, I'm disabled. I need help, which is the truth. So mm-hmm. then they had to give me a special elevator, which means it took me longer to get downstairs. And I, that's why I was like, it must have been meant to be to have met you. Yeah. Nobody was in there. So let me see if I could queue up this stuff. So Janet Jackson with special guest Ludacris has been replaced with special guest Robbie Boya. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> he is on stage. You see this, guys, living the... Let me get, get my logo off here because we just got to make sure everybody sees how amazing what hard work and manifesting gets you because... I know every blessing I've ever had is because one God granted it. Yes. I put in hard work and it was truly meant to be. And right. I'm like, you are literally living the ultimate fan's dream. So, Robbie, I know you know there was a much longer story to Janet Jackson's thing, but I wanted everyone to hear for themselves. Mm-hmm. How the heck did you get so lucky to dance with the queen of music herself? queen of everything right so, <laughs> um a friend of mine uh my brother who i've known for so long his name is tori nelson um he invited me to come to this class that a couple of choreographers was teaching um janet jackson or for you they was teaching at Broadway dance center in brooklyn i mean in new york city um i had no clue that she was going to be there but because everybody was like so like, you know, in certain situations like that, when people don't want to say anything, everybody's just acting really weird. And I guess because everyone know how much I love Janet, how much I love Michael, the Jacksons, period. Um, they wanted to make sure that I was there. So when I got there and I'm trying to learn the choreo and I learned the first part of the choreo. And then uh, when Janet walked in, <laughs> I was like, in my head, I was like, okay, I knew something was happening. But in the same time, I was tripping out. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm in the same room as Janet Jackson. Like, my whole life, like, my whole life has been just going to school, coming home, putting on my videotapes, and dancing all night at, um, after school. Janet and Michael did that for me. And honestly, growing up, the only two people that I needed in my life was Michael and Janet, as far as like with music and dance. So, um, so she walked into the room and she gave us, she watched us dance. And let me tell you how nervous I was trying to learn choreography. And then the part that she came in, the part that we had to learn was a little difficult. So I'm like trying to get my mind together, trying to learn to dance in front of Janet and just it was it's just so much I can say for that moment. But and she came and said that she was gonna choose a couple dancers to dance with her at Madison Square Garden and she chose me. Like and me and Tomo, actually. So here's my question. Did uh, it's so much so many things going through my mind. Did you think you were going to be picked? Because, I mean, if you were in that room, clearly there was a lot of people on that level of caliber to be on that stage with her. Or you were just like, no, I know I'm going to be on the stage. Listen, I, I, I think I manifested it because I was, I'm just looking around. I'm like, you got to pick me, Janet. Like I have to like, I I think I manifested that. Like, and even like a couple years back, I've done like a little, um, a little tribute uh video dance thing to janet i did rhythm nation and this was back in 2020 so i was just like that was just it was almost like i manifested that it was it was meant to be definitely i'm so happy for you because i i saw your youtube channel i'm going to try to cue it up in a second but Mm -hmm. you it's rare that people like michael and janet janet equally because i can tell by your youtube channel that you're probably like me or similar in the fact that you can't pick a favorite between the two. Yes, it, it's a toss up. Sometimes like growing up throughout my life, I would favor more towards Janet and yes! then Seminar, I would favor more towards Michael. It is and it still happens to this day. It still happens. To this day, I'm the same way. And I think it just went based on what I was going through in the era of that time. Mm-hmm. So it's just like 
for me, I would say Michael was my absolute favorite. No, no, no. Actually, I was going to say the 80s, but no, because I remember when Janet came out in Control. I, I give up. It's always been a tie, now that I think about it. But I do have, I would say in the 90s, though, sorry, MJ fans, don't come for me. I did lean more towards Janet. I Sorry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like so the, the late 90s i did i definitely did i was like sorry not sorry um i struggle <laughs> and again mj moonwalkers don't come for me i struggled with blood on the dance floor i did so, i love blood I, on the dance floor no oh i gotta God. be the only person that in real time didn't didn't like it mm -hmm. i love it now i i understand why you didn't like it because it i i get it but I was I was one of those Michael fans that anything that he did, I was like, I have to watch it. Like I have a whole VHS tape of just Michael of performances, interviews, and whatever news clippings. And I have, I have the same thing for Janet. So I definitely understand. I understand why you feel that way about Blood on the Dance Floor. But to me, anything he did, I was in love with it. So that's the only time I was like, <clears throat> uh, Janet, it will, <laughs> Janet, it will be. <laughs> Because I, I I struggle, but I truly, I think I was influenced by Michael and Janet more than anything. Um, on a personal level, it's definitely Janet, me, of course, being a female mm -hmm. and just having certain things in common, fluctuation with weight, um, yeah. religious issues. You know, I am considered religious. But mm -hmm. I'm still not like my deacon grandfather or my mom. Like, so, yeah, you know, I'm sure she has issues with Catherine being so strict. So it's right. just like, you know, it's like, no, I believe in God. I believe in church. But sometimes I classify myself as a ratchet Christian. So, <laughs> you know, I know my, my, my church and elders do like church. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's it's my walk. It's my journey. And mm -hmm. I will get to where I need to be in my time, you know, but absolutely God is first. You could tell by Janet's post that God is still a big part of her life. Very it just so. may not be like the way Catherine raised her, but mm -hmm. you could, you could just I was yeah, like, yeah. what up Janet? Like, I really feel like that's my big sister in my head. Right. <laughs> you can just, you can tell that she's still very much down to earth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she's not, um, you know, like she is Janet Jackson to us, but I can, I it feels like even just being around her, like she knows that she's Janet Jackson, but she's not like, oh, I'm Janet. Like she's very down to earth and very normal. Have you ever met any other Jacksons besides Janet? No, I have not. I have, Janet was the only Jackson I met. And I met her, this was the second time I met her. Um, I met her about 10 years ago. I wanted to audition for her. She did a show for Essence, uh, Essence Festival. She had on the short hair. This is that year. And I auditioned for that show, but you know, I didn't get it. But she came to the audition, and that was the first time I met her. Nervous as heck. I could not. Yeah. But so. you know why you didn't get it? Because God had something so much greater. You don't understand. Madison Square Garden is one of the biggest arenas, period. Mm -hmm. You dance in front of 20,000 people. Okay? <laughs> like, you saw, you wasn't in our show, so our show had Buster Rhyme. Yeah, And yeah. I couldn't figure out if Buster Rhyme, it was that his first time at Madison Square Garden, because he said, this is the first for me, and I couldn't figure out, was it the first because you're performing this song with her? That part he said. I think but that's I have a mean. feeling the Madison Square Garden thing might have been new to him, too. I wasn't sure. Hey, Buster, you want to come on my channel and clarify this? <laughs> Because he, you could tell, like, yeah. it, there was something more to this moment. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. not a, you know, you didn't get the essence because God had something way bigger than you than the essence. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> and, and, and you were on her Insta story. And as you can see, you could tell I was manifesting you. Why would I have kept that? She had stories this for weeks. Mm -hmm. That's the only story I kept because I was like, I want to meet that guy. He's from oh. New York like me. You know, he likes Michael and Janet like me. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, like I said, I've always wanted to dance with her. I can, I have danced with a Jackson. Shout out to Reeby. But it was Come like, on, you know, I did that, that two-step thing. <laughs> you know, that's all I could do. So I was just like, but I would work my behind off. Janet, I'm throwing it out there. I would work for months. 
if I could, I still got to do like a two step. We ain't doing Rhythm Nation. I ain't, I ain't Robbie, but because I, they were somebody else on stage. It was a news anchor, and they simplified this thing for her. But I haven't seen too many people on stage. Actually, just you and that lady. I know exactly who you're talking about. Right, like yeah. from the first month. I think yeah. from the first day, actually. Yeah, she was doing something really, really simple. It wasn't. I don't think it was the video choreo. Right. No. And Janet, I'm just gonna throw that out there. That's the kind of choreo I would need. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a cheer cheerleader, and I used to, um, of course, dance. You know, our New York girls. You know, we be doing the stepping and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they had to work so hard with me to get to that level, and. I know my limitations. I'm not a dancer. You know, I just got a little mm -hmm. swag about myself. So I'll be right. like, I need that simplified. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> but I said, if I never get to dance, dance on stage with Janet, I promise on everything I love, just your energy, your interview, just everything about what we experienced. I believe the 8th of May, I felt that in that story. I felt that in your Insta stories. It was like we were living through you, like literally. Uh -huh. So like, look at what my girl invisible. I'm so happy for you, Robbie. This feels like it was meant to happen. Yes. Yes. It man, I <sighs> thank you. And like this, it's it's really I. It's definitely was supposed to happen. Like my, I really wish my mother was here, because wow. the way my life has been, like it's been throughout. My whole life has been Michael and Janet. Literally. So when she walked into the room and just having that conversation with her, like my whole life was literally just flashing in front of my eyes. She literally had to lean on the wall because if I was to stand up, I would have literally passed out. Like I would have been on the floor. <laughs> um, it was just a moment that I would never, ever, ever, ever forget. But it really meant a lot to me. So now that you live this epic moment, What's what's the next step? What are we manifesting now? Well, it's just whatever comes, whatever comes. I'm just I'm, I'm excited for the future. That's just what it is. And whatever comes, I'm willing to take on the task. I just want to like just work on putting on a lot more projects for myself. Just getting putting more um, positivity in the air, I guess. Um, you know, and just just want to be seen more. And that's what I'm working on. You you got this. Teresa writes, Dang, I didn't realize me and Teresa are so close in age. What's up, Teresa? <laughs> I'm 47 now and I'm and I'm giving up on that dream. LOL. I'm so happy for you, Robbie. <laughs> Thank you. Don't so, ever give up on your dreams. It don't never, matter how old oh, you are. Please. The the one thing I've learned from the Jacksons is mm -hmm. nothing's impossible. Right. Like, did you, did you re um watch Janet Jackson's documentary? Absolutely. And all the stuff they went through, mm -hmm. and all the stuff they're still going through, right? Because right. clearly, clearly, they're trying to uh, get rid of that, that family's legacy. And I, you know, I appreciate Janet was like, "Oh, let me remind you who my family is in the right. most humble way possible," right? Because it's just like in real life, they should be in history books, all of them. I say that all the time, and it's just like they slowly trying to like draw them away, and it's just it's really sad. Um, it's it's a lot that I can say about that issue. Like it's, I always say like the Jacksons, they were so important to our community, like so important to our community. They came out during a time when, you know, segregation and the civil rights movement and all that stuff. That was really like the first black family to come out and we look up like royalty, like they was compared to the Brady Bunch. Like, ain't no real family gonna be compared to a perfect fictional family like that. Yeah, and they be black. So that was a big deal. Yeah, that was a big deal. And this, this is the sure... whole reason why I do the channel because I was like, I don't, I don't like how they treated Michael. And yeah. at the time, they were messing with Janet by then when Michael died, and I said, you got this twisted. Yeah. I will stand for that family. Yeah, me too. Wholeheartedly. It's, yeah. Sorry, into what what were you saying? Uh I I forgot, but that was pretty much my whole point. Yeah, they the Jacksons, they are very important to us and they've been through a lot. They've been through a lot. And still are like I, we had some lives earlier this year 
uh, Invincible Jackson is my YouTube partner in terms of lives. And we've had to like defend them on the billboard thing and mm -hmm. that stupid thing with Chris Rock. And I'm like, uh uh, you got things twisted. Oh, yeah. Chris Rock, he, I was like, yeah, good. That's exactly why Will Smith. Did. <laughs> that's exactly okay. why. I was on your side all this time, but you just messed up. That's what I said. Cause I was just like, but Chris Rock is that comedian that always just took it too far. He, and he always targets black people, which I find mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. It's like you never come for anybody that doesn't look like you. Mm. So I felt like, especially with Michael Jackson's estate, again, clearing Michael's name after that that movie we will not mention, I was like, what is it going to take for you all to stop messing with that man? Yeah. You know, it's, so. It's, it's disgusting. It is, disgusting. especially when someone has proven aggressively they're innocent. And I'm glad Janet Jackson addressed that in her documentary tomorrow. I don't know if you know, it's um the March of Innocence thing tomorrow. So I know Tori's doing like a live, just showing people more facts Mm -hmm. about what makes Michael Jackson innocent. And then they're doing a, a streaming party on with music. Oh, that'd be so, nice. Yeah. That, we, listen, Robbie, I will hit you up for like really important stuff in New York, but it's a whole different culture. We have MJ season, which I'm not even sure if you heard of that. Never. So between June and all the way to August, we celebrate Michael's legacy. Of course, June 25th, we kick it off. A lot of people go to Cali, though. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they gather at the Apollo. Then, of mm -hmm. course, his birthday, August 29th. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go to, mainly to Vegas for that. But we celebrate sometimes with Spike Lee. Spike Lee, are we having a party? Hello? <laughs> and then October, we used to do, like, thrill, Thriller at mm -hmm. thrill, uh, thrill, thrill the World NYC, but the girl Mata doesn't do it no more. So uh -huh. now we go to Michael Jackson's house or the Jackson family house in Havenhurst. Yeah, I've seen uh, a few clips of... Um... Uh, MJ fangirl. Yes, that's my girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few clips of her when she was out there. So we're not doing that this year, but I'm manifesting that something special happens at Havenhurst. Anyway, just say it. <laughs> but anytime we hear something, we'll reach out to you um, and just let you know this is what's going on. I know New York might go to the Apollo June 25th for that um, Jordan Neely guy who got who got murdered. Mm -hmm. for being homeless and black. I'm just going to say for what it is. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, let's keep it real because if one more person tells me, but he was a criminal, but he... The no. day that he got murdered, he did not deserve what happened to him. I'm going to leave it at that. If one more person tells me any more irrelevant points to that day, yeah. but we might be doing something for Jordan. I'll let you know if it's official. Okay. And um, August, I think a lot of people are going to Vegas. But, um... I'll, I'll see an information but so now though last week we proposed we had a janet jackson season oh come on okay and let me see if hopefully i still got the slides on this i'm hoping i do if i don't i will find it because i said um if there's a michael season we need a janet jackson need a, season. come on we need that healthy balance so i proposed Right. To make it a thing. Hey, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be from January because that's when she kicked up that um the, that the, documentary. The mm -hmm. February is Appreciation Day. And then March, she made history. April, she made more history. And of course, May is her birthday. Right. So if we could think of something to collab on. I, like I said, I don't dance, but if you can find dancers, I could record you. We can make it a theme. We can make an official movement. <laughs> five months for Michael, five months for her. And of course, Michael's legacy is infused with the Jacksons. Jackson brothers, we didn't forget you. Right, but, um, right, right. Absolutely. They are just in, as important. So I don't know if Tori's around. Tori, if you're around, make sure you have your information about j tomorrow. Because Tori's doing tomorrow's event. Um, but I'm just so glad I got this time to to showcase you because a lot of people, I know when I started this Jackson journey in 2009, it was when Michael died. Everybody was like, you're never going to meet a Jackson. You're never going to meet a Jackson. Minimum, I met 20. Oh, wow. Minimum, I met 20. And some of them, when they see me, they legitimately go, hey, Gadget. 
And I've had blessings that I, I can't say them all on camera because some things are legitly private. Right. But they always just appreciate me and my little channel and what I've done for the family. And right. I've never seen a family as humble as the Jacksons. Never, never, never. They're so cool. And it, like in your clip, you saw how she was thanking very, you. Yeah, yes. just so humble. Yes, very humble. Very just. Like I said, down to earth. You'll be you'll be surprised that you know we look at the Jacksons. They're the Jacksons, like oh my god, but they're really like just regular people. At least that's what I got from Janet, just being in her presence. Like she's just very regular and down to earth. I love that. Yeah, she has personality. She's funny. She made me laugh a couple times. I was just like, wow, look at you. <laughs> so here's my question. Was there more things that you recorded? Because I noticed they had professional audio for you. So yeah. is it possible you might be in that future documentary that she's working on? <laughs> you know, and I, I feel like that's what's going to happen. Nobody has never said anything to me, but just by all the cameras. And then every time we did an interview, I had to sign like paperwork. Or whatever. I figured that. Yeah. They didn't say anything to me, but I probably I I, I thought it. So maybe. Cause I looked the clip and I went, "Oh, that's a professional mic, right. huh?" <laughs> right. <laughs> and we're talking months and months and probably years of footage, and you're kind of wondering, like, what is she going to take from that? But right. if nothing else, it's now official. It's on my channel. I got snippets of Robbie <laughs> <laughs> on talking to Janet. Actually, let me plug your channel while I'm while I'm here, because I really want you guys to support him. This is a community that we're building, and it's so important that we know who each other are. Yes. Um, let me see. Robbie's YouTube. All right. Everybody can see it, right? Mm -hmm. Can you guys see it? Let me see. Yeah, I see it now. Okay. All right. So make sure you guys sub to this channel. I will make sure I will put it in the description bar. As you can see, I've seen this video already, but I'll see it again <laughs> for music reasons because the copyright police will come after me. Yeah. But just said, Robbie is like legitly insanely talented. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so let's just fast forward to what he's, he can do. Of course, I picked the darkest thing here. Oh, yeah, there, we go. Like there we go. Even how you shot this is impressive because to shoot things at night, either you have to shoot in the day and make it look like the night, or you really mm -hmm. got to have a lot of lighting. And just look, look what you pulled off. That's my my very best friend. His name is uh, Anthony August. Like he shoots, he's really good at like editing and shooting stuff. Like he did this for me, and yeah, he's amazing. Now I'm gonna tell you someone who thought. I would never got this far with the Jacksons. Dream big. My dream is so big that if it comes true, I think I will not out. I will just cry, cry, cry. Because it's just like I'm asking for the impossible because I thought the Jacksons were impossible. Right. And then it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh so that's, I, that's him. Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> when you posted that. That's crazy. <laughs> I love this piece, too. Thank you. Look at this. Like, this is like celebrity level of dancing. It's like, you can go on tour with her. I'm manifesting that you go on tour with her next time. That I, Let me put that out there for you. <laughs> like, you could dance, dance. Like, Thank you. You could tell you studied, like, from really great people. My can, my greatest influence is Michael and Janet, everything. Michael gave me my style and Janet taught me how to follow difficult choreography. I always yeah, Janet's that. very difficult. Mm -hmm. I um I actually was supposed to do Rhythm Nation in high school. I just mm -hmm. couldn't do it. And I to this day I regret not pushing through that. Like now that I'm older, I understand that things are Things are hard. That's real life. Like real life is hard. But if you yeah. push through something, the better, the greatest version of you will come out of that. And mm -hmm. I wish I pushed myself. Dancing's hard for me. I just should have just worked harder. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I do regret not doing it because then I would have been like, oh, when I was in high 
high school. I didn't know. I, I dropped out. I dropped out. I'm a punk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other influences outside of Michael and Jen in terms of the dance? Because your dancing is really like on point. Thank you. Um, well, any artist that was really like a dancer was like I paid attention to. But and this is so crazy. But my favorite outside of Michael and Janet was um, T Boss. T Boss from uh, TLC. She was my everything. Everything. Oh, that is so funny. I have this weird story with. A TLC. So I actually saw them perform at the Apollo. So I would say you consider my peer. You're within my age group, but you're a little younger than me. But you were probably, and if I had to guess, junior high-ish or elementary when they came out. I think I was just in high school, mm -hmm. and I snuck out of school to go meet them. And I was trying to get backstage. So security goes, "Ma'am, where are you going?" And I'm like, "I want to meet." <laughs> <laughs> TLC. And they're like, ma'am, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to love, if I can find a picture of my room, my half my room was TLC and then it was Janet. And we there was have a lot in common. We do. You don't understand. Like, I know when I meet my people, I just, it was like, when I saw your page, I go, oh my God, we're the same. We're like, yeah. we're same, same, same. <laughs> for real, for real, for real. Yep. So before you go, I just want to add my sister, Tori, Tori, your mic is muted. Oh, hello. Hey, <laughs> I kiss Invincible Jackson. She is the youngest in the community that I know personally. And she loves the Jackson so much. And I said, well, I got to get her on here. <laughs> nice oh, sorry. It's nice to meet you. Sorry, I can't get on like the, it's okay. the camera. Um, I'm getting, I'm honestly, I need to be getting ready for work. But, um, <laughs> I miss you. I just wanted to say, hey, get Tori on here. <laughs> it's so cool that that um you are on Gadgets Live. Like um, I remember her like even before like she did, you know, her vlog of seeing Jan in Madison Square Garden. Um mm -hmm. even like before she put that out, she was telling me, like, oh yeah, I caught one of the dancers. I was like, what? And it, I'm telling you, it's just like I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's some Jackson magic that is sprinkled around. It's like things happen by chance. Like she runs into so many cool people. And um, it's just so awesome that like you're on here and we're getting to get your perspective and experience from, from this tour because the tour was amazing. Yes. Very, oh, very good. Oh my goodness. It's so much better in person. It was just... Like she was going, it right? Was a really good show. Did right. you get a chance to see it? I know in the interview on the Instagram, you mentioned that you were going to see some of the show before you went on stage. But mm -hmm. did you get a chance, or you just stayed backstage? I know we was definitely standing at the side of the stage. So, um, like the stage, if this is the stage we're facing the stage, we was like on the right side of the stage. That's awesome. I can't even imagine like what kind of mental high you were on. Oh my so, god. Like and it was one part and doesn't really matter when she um she came by and walked in my direction. She was singing the first verse and I will never forget cuz I was singing it to her, you know, that's one of my favorite songs. And she was singing it back to me. I was like, "Ah." <laughs> oh wow. I would never ever. Heart. So I didn't even get to ask you, are you a Professional dancer or freelance dancer? Um, a professional. I danced with um, I danced with Mariah before. I danced with <laughs> um, I worked with Beyonce before. I worked with J Lo before. I worked with um, and I danced with the Knicks at um, at Madison Square Garden. So we dance every season. You know, so I try. I do a little things here and there. That's awesome. So I'm Thank still you. manifesting that you, because you know she's, actually, let me bring this up while we are still here, because I know, I don't know if you guys know, there's another show at it. I, I, I know you all, some of y'all saw me crying because I couldn't get front row seats again. <laughs> But if you want to see her, there's very little bit of seats left in uh, October in Cali. The tickets are super inexpensive compared to New York. 
So this might be your chance to go to Cali, go see a whole bunch of Jackson family sites. Um, what else? Um, you know, it would be expensive to fly out there, but it still would be cheaper than a massive square guard ticket. Mm. So, because <laughs> massive, they were bucking some of those tickets was three thousand dollars. I said, "Oh, we, oh, Lord, <laughs> not today." I mean, of course, like I would like to manifest the type of money to say, "Oh, just three thousand, I got you, Janet." Right. But the most I was willing to go was seventeen hundred, and this. This rich city sold out so fast of the meet and greet. I just lived through you. I'm just gonna keep the picture right here. I'm just gonna live through Rob. <laughs> yes. Cause I was like, I was willing to finance it. I got a credit card that allows me to finance stuff. And the next thing you know, they were like, sold out, boo boo. Be faster. And I'm like, really? Yeah. So I don't know if Janet's ever gonna allow meet and greet again, because you know that's not really her thing at all. Really? If she you don't know that, what recently. she just did was the last. One or two tours, yeah, but not not for 2010 or yeah. t- by 2011. Uh-uh, she wasn't even offering that. No, no, no. Oh. I feel like maybe because social media has become so big now, I feel like maybe she's doing that because, you know, just have something to post, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's big of her because I'm not sure if you're familiar. Most of the Jacksons, including her, are germaphobes. So that yeah. means she's, she's pushing through her comfort level. Mm-hmm. to engage with the fans and i'm like you good sis because it looked like a lot of people went to those meet and greets yeah yeah and it's she you know she was showing love to you what was the name of the other girl that was dancing with you tomo tomo yes so I was like, oh. well anytime you have something going on that you want to like share with us or if you want to say you know what gadget i want to do a live with y'all tonight you you know you have tori's information and mine, we are officially Jackson family, you know, fam. <laughs> not even, hey. they, yeah. I don't even know what to call us. Jackson <laughs> family fam. I guess so, right? For now. Right. <laughs> we need, we do need like a name for like people who love the whole family. The whole family, right? Because he, in my vlog, you know, Robbie was like, oh, I'm here for the family. Mm-hmm. So. I love the whole family. Chad, oh. if you can get your money together, next year we go on the thriller night. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of money, though. Oh. Lord, you see my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But listen, if we manifest into our greatness, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, that's why you're being featured. Because at first, I was going to have you join all of us for the big panel, and I said, "No, your story is super unique. You need your own your own thing." Exactly. You are the example of what manifesting and hard work really is, and I mean, a lot of people just think it can't happen. Yes, it can. Yes, yeah. it can, bro. I couldn't even tell you how many amazing things have happened in my life. We'll be here all freaking day. And mm-hmm. everyone told me, you can't do it. I said, yes, I, yes, I can. Right. If you believe it and you put in the work and you don't harm anybody, it's going to happen. You just don't know when. Yeah. And this came out of nowhere, too. It definitely did. That's how it always, I swear that's how it always works. It's just like you doing something and then out of nowhere. It's like when you really focus in on it, it don't really happen, and you're you're like completely somewhere else, and then just an the opportunity come. It's the craziest thing. Yeah, I was trying to manifest. Here's my awkward moment. I was trying to manifest bumping into Randy Jackson. <laughs> <sighs> Randy, why are you making it so difficult? I was hoping that he was gonna be there when I was backstage. I'm like, where Randy? I definitely did think about him. He was on some show. He was in DJ Active story, but I don't know. Tori, do you know what city Randy was pop- popping up in as I was crying in the house? It it was, I feel like it was Texas, but there was a show before in Illinois. That that show was crazy. Uh, the Illinois, where I didn't see footage or pictures, but I saw a couple people say Randy, Jackie, and Tito had walked by them. I was like, huh? Oh, wow. And nobody got pictures? Maybe they were walking fast because, you know, Randy's very, very low key. I I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I was so shocked. Mine was Marlon. I was like, how? It's okay. Just to catch you up, Robbie, this woman loves Marlon. Okay. <laughs> like, loves. And then I don't know if you saw Janet Jackson's story. There was a pa- the whole, not only Marlon, his whole freaking family. I said, oh, yes. hell no. He I was crying for huge, her. It's like, wow, his family's huge. 
Oh, like, yeah. I'm going to the Atlanta show next time. <laughs> I was supposed to go to the one in Tennessee and I was like, please don't let Randy be in the one in Tennessee because that's the one I was supposed to go and it was meet and greet there. But mm-hmm. once you put in meet and greet, hotel, flight, makeup artist, we're at $25,000, $3,000. It's way over by my, by my, by my budget. Mm-hmm. So my max really was 2000 which included, you know, your makeup getting done because you're like, I'm meeting Jan. Let me get nice. Done. But I was like, I was just trying to do meet and greet in Madison Square Garden. I'd never seen something start so fast in my life. Mm-hmm. And then Teresa was saying, um, those meet and greets really are the way to get people yeah, to want to come. Yeah, yeah, start saving now. Mm-hmm. I true. tried. I tried. I did VIP in Atlantic City. There were some hiccups, but we'll talk about that on my other, other live, you know, because I said I'll never be fake with y'all. I'll tell you the good, the bad, and the stuff in between. <laughs> and uh, But it was good, but there were some hiccups. Mm. And our, then I was going to do the uh, Cali one, uh-huh. that, you know, and then they were like, uh, oh, the front seats are sold out in minutes. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was insane. I went on there. When did it? I think my time, it was one, 12 or 5, 1 or 5. I can't remember. Um, and I went on there. It was no, it started at 12 or 1. I went on there at like five minutes after. It wasn't like the front row was gone. The front section's gone. Crazy. This is Janet. You got to move fast. All exactly. right. So now, now I'm manifesting stuff for me and Tori now. Janet, <laughs> Janet people, me and Tori do social media. Can we do a special project so we can do a meet and greet and somehow we'll be on the side where Robbie was at? Because it's impossible. <laughs> Janet got super big lately. Like She did. Bigger than normal. I'm here for like, it, but now I can't get tickets. Yeah, because people need to. I feel like we're we're learning to like. Okay, we can't let this icon pass like hi everyone else. Like we have to make sure that she know that she is loved. And make sure that she know that she's appreciated. And I feel like people are seeing that she needs that, especially mm-hmm. with all the crap that she was going through after the Super Bowl. Right. Exactly. That's why I said we need that season to happen. Mm-hmm. I mean it. You know, we could think of things like to make it a thing, thing, put in our social media. I know I started doing MJ, Janet Jackson season. I am not the per- first person to say it or Tori. It was somebody else about two or three years ago on Twitter. I was doing my research. So, but I don't, don't, just make it a thing. I don't care who said it first. Just just make it a thing for real. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I've always loved her. Robbie always loved her. Toy mm-hmm. always loved her. I mean, if you guys are in this live in the middle of a work day, clearly... You know, y'all love her. She's a very, she needs to be mm-hmm. honored the way Michael's honored. You know, I don't mm-hmm. like how they're being pitted against each other. Janice yeah. Planet, Michael's Michael. They're both great. That's the end of it. Yes. Period. I think my thing is, is that, well, for me personally, I think while I'm really taking the chances and doing, you know, like seeing Janet and even though people think I'm crazy trying to go to multiple shows and stuff like that because, you know, when Michael passed, I feel like there are people who have regrets like, oh, I wish I would have went there or I almost got the chance, but I didn't go. Yes. And then like, you know, this huge legend, this person who made such an impact on, on the world and music is like now gone. So I'm like, we really, really have to start, you know, me and Gadget have this thing where we say, Give the Jacksons their flowers. We really yeah. need to start giving them their flowers. I would love to see how, like, we do the Vegas birthday event. If somehow we can have a Janet birthday event, um, or Janet Jackson appreciation, some sort of event that way. Well, they had it in New York. I don't know if you know that, Robbie. There was a gathering for Janet Jackson at Bryant Park this year for her birthday. You know what? I think you told me about that. Um, and I was in the area, but I didn't see nothing happening going on. Maybe I was in the wrong part. No, you never know because this is a everything's a first, which means it could be a flop. That's why I said maybe next year we need to be a little bit more aggressive and more aware because I, I don't know who the key Janet Jackson people are, mm-hmm. even though I'm a Jackson family channel. Somehow there seems to be more bias with Michael because the whole channel started from his death. And that does make sense that I'm more on the Michael side because it was based on his death. Mm -hmm. However, I represent that whole family, second gen, you know, first gen, the third gen, you know, like whatever gen you are, if you're a Jackson, 
you're right. all equally relevant, which means it's like I would like to know who the key Janet Jackson people are. I don't care about getting credit or getting notarized. Like, well, I'm the Janet. I don't care. I mm-hmm. just want to get the word out. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, whoever is the top Janet Jackson vloggers, whatever, we need you guys to help us get the word out about what you guys are doing. We I can't figure out. Who, I know the big Twitter people, but who are the big YouTube people? I don't know. Right. I'm- yeah, I only really see like Michael bloggers. That's that's a good question. I know aside from like us and like Jackson family creators, um there was one other person who had like a Janet There are like Janet YouTubers, but they'll probably like re-upload like um old Janet specials or songs, music videos and stuff or um you know stuff like that but there was one other girl i saw like actually get behind the camera and kind of show who she was as a janet fan and Mm. i'm like we need more y'all heck yeah yeah. because right now janet jackson's a very unique movement from michael because michael of course passed away already janet's still alive and now everyone's starting to give her flowers for real Mm -hmm. so but to make to make her movement a movement, then people need to like how we said have that Janet Jackson season. The appreciation thing needs to be well, it is a thing, but just get it bigger. Yeah, her yeah. birthday definitely should be a thing. Mm-hmm. And then we'll figure out if there's any other key, because it doesn't have to be in that time frame. It could be whatever, you know, whatever. If it's a December thing, it's a December thing. We celebrate Michael all year. Right. So, <laughs> but it's just a thing like just get the terminology out so you know like oh yeah let me get my actually I didn't even show you this um, Robbie let me add this to the stream I even had like merch I want to see I want a Janet Jackson football jersey so Ooh. I can have this to wear on appreciation day I don't, I don't I don't watch football in real life but I watch the Super Bowl right so wouldn't it make sense on appreciation day that we have Janet Jackson jerseys probably in purple were either her the five or the 16 on it Mm -hmm. you know like i really want to make it a thing like i don't know if i want to work for janet jackson's team but like i said special projects all you guys got to give me is a picture and pay (laughs) for my flight and hotel i'm cheap (laughs) i just want to meet janet like (laughs) you know i said i know working for janet's hard and and i'm you know i'm trying to build my own business manifesting my own thing so Mm Um, but I wouldn't mind doing special projects. Me, you, Tori, you know, like make it a thing. Think she already met you. So I was like, throw Robbie in the mix. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'm dead serious. I have i don't get a lot of money for this channel. I get m- money from my other channels. I, I, it's not about money. It's about preserving legacy. It really is. Yeah. So right. I'm like, oh, y'all, y'all got to pay me. If you want to, you could. But I'm just be like, hey, picture an opportunity a youtube you know interview here and there i don't i don't ask for much (laughs) and that that, that just goes to show like you're serious about it and Mm -hmm. you're not just trying to do it for like a check or something like that or for some sort of notoriety or just like you just are concerned with preserving the legacy keeping it on keeping their artistry alive and stuff and i think that is so important it is like it truly is like maybe because I'm black and I see so much in me in that family. It's important to me. Yes. And, you know, Same. but what I love about the Jacksons, it's no longer a black legacy. It's an American legacy because they have people, yes. they have, you know, that they have children with that are non-black. And so that's also representing the America that's a forming in front of us now. My mm-hmm. family is very mixed like that. We mm-hmm. have white people, um, Asian people. You know, Latins, a lot of Latin black people in our family mix. And that's like the new normal. So they're representing what America really is, that that melting pot. Mm-hmm. So now it's an American legacy that needs to be preserved, you know. But of course, when I was younger, I, I was like, oh, my God, Janet. Oh, you know, Janet Jackson, she's black. She brown like me. I'm here for it. Like, right. just, right. oh, somebody asked a question I missed. I'm sorry. Bobby, what is your favorite Janet song? Oh, so many. Uh my favorite Dan- Janet song to dance to is definitely Doesn't Really Matter. Okay. Oh, definitely. The breakdown, the second breakdown, the VMA version. I know that whole routine, by the way. Like, <laughs> um, doesn't uh, doesn't really matter in All For You. Those are my two favorites. 
I know you were in heaven when she did that, when she came out and they had like the the orange and pink outfits on mm-hmm. and they came out with doesn't really matter. And then all you hear is all the girls at the party. Look. And then we back to back, right? Oh gosh. And then <laughs> what as was, was your playing, favorite part of the concert? Uh, my favorite part of the concert. Um, I, my favorite part is when she get into the whole medley when she do diamonds. Don't you know? That's my favorite yes. part. That whole medley, that's my favorite part. I want to go back, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go my- back. I saw it twice, but I feel like it's not enough. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. feel like they get better every show that they do because it gets tighter. And they they rehearse. Like <sighs> I was just standing. I remember backstage and like I'm really good friends. Well, I've known Denzel for a very, very long time. Oh, that's and cool. I was, and I was telling him, like, yo, y'all really danced throughout the whole show. Like, do y'all sit down? <laughs> He's like, yo, bro, this is hard, but you know, we got it. This is what wow. we do. I feel like out of all the careers, I have to admit, dancing is probably the toughest because it wears on your body. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, you know, thank God you're in you're in good shape. You you're young, you know, but I was just like I, I want, when I was younger, I did want to be a dancer, but we figured out real quick that wasn't my calling. It was like, because <laughs> most of the dancers, they get stuff quick. It always took me an extra day after everyone else. But when mm-hmm. I got it, I got it. Mm-hmm. But it was mm-hmm. just like, they were like, you're too slow. Like, so then I, I did the photography. No, it was photos then, video. Even though I had a camera, it was ready to have videos in the 90s. Uh-huh. And then now I'm doing video. And I, I, I love, I love capturing history. I love telling people stories. Yeah. I'm like, and sometimes the story is not about the Jacksons. Just, I just love telling people stories. We all matter in life. We all have a story. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. snap. They said you killed it. Yes, you did. Like, you're that kind of dancer. Like, Janet, I'm just saying you might want to have Robbie have five yeah. guys for the October 27th show. And then can me and Tori get to go for free for suggesting it? <laughs> 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 oh my god, I do have a question. Yes. Now it's not confirmed because once again, like Janet says, wait to hear it from my lips. But a lot of the jam fam have a theory that there could be a second leg, just especially seeing how there is an October date just out of the blue. Um, and how how successful this tour is doing doing. Mm-hmm. And the one thing I gotta know is Janet's doing this tour without promoting new music, not even a single new song, Perfect. nothing. And it's, it's successful like this. But let's say there is, okay, a second leg. It will be cool if you could be added to it. Listen. But another thing I want to note is um, her creative director, Gil. Mm-hmm. He put on his story, like he put a tweet on on his story where it talks about how the shows were selling out. He said, "Oh, and this is just the light tour." The, the light tour, yeah, I, I caught that. I caught that. Yep. So, is there a second one? Because if so, Robbie, Robbie, listen, I'll be out of here. I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> Janet, don't, all she have to say is, "Rock." I'm there. <laughs> you, you're on the caliber. Her, her dancers, by the way, are phenomenal. Her dancers are phenomenal. I'm like, you're on that level. Just throwing it out there. Or y'all could have Robbie as a backup just in case someone gets sick, you know. A swing dancer, you know. You know. (laughs) So I don't know. I I, I say y'all go, I don't know. (laughs) Because I feel like when I saw you dance and I saw your YouTube channel, your YouTube channel made me go, oh, you a dancer for real. (laughs) Like, you're a real (laughs) one. Oh, I, I I can see why they picked you. You're really, really good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh. So do you have any more questions for him, Tori? I said, I know you got to get to work and we're hitting an hour. Rob, Robbie doing me a favor. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm having fun. This is great. Uh, listen, well, you, you got my IG. Anytime you see a live, you like, let me jump in there because... She'll tell you we be having the most ghetto lives. We be like, "What you doing?" Like with a five second notice. All right, just jump in. I just asked Tori like seconds ago while you were talking. I was like, "Yo, Tori, jump in!" Like, because we we really you're clearly like how we are with the Jacksons, and it's the same goal: preserve their legacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's from the heart. Um, they deserve it. 
they deserve so much. Like they gave so much magic to the world, so much magic, so much memories and happy faces and smiles. Like they deserve all the flowers that they give, that they get. Yeah. They deserve, and that much more. Mm-hmm. And they actually give to us. Like, yes. you know, I, I have to, I got to find this footage. One time I met the brothers and I asked for a favor. Not mm-hmm. only that they said yes, they waited for us because we were late because we were from a very, you know, we were far from where they went. They thanked us for everything we did for them on YouTube. And I was just like, if I just was just standing there like, I'm not going to cry right now, but I'm going to cry when I go home. Aww. They didn't have to do that. Like, first of all, they waited for us. Then they were just thanking us. And we were just like, wait, what's going on? What's mm-hmm. going on? So I said, as soon as I find the footage, I got to share that. Because I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, and they're all like that. You know, especially that first mm-hmm. gen, they're legitly humble and they they thank us and we're like wait what no, thank you thank you you changed my life like you have no clue the whole family oh so ricky writes the other girl killed it too but you had the rhythm nation attitude yes you had that precision that made me go they might want to hire you <laughs> for you know the european tour or the <laughs> We're manifesting that because every I know some of my European friends did come over. Shout out to the girls from Germany. Oh, there's another one. I, more mainly the Germany girls came down to see her. One did Madison Square Garden and the other Germany girls did um, Gary and Deanna. I mm. know that wasn't cheap because that's why I don't tra- travel across seas. It's a lot of money now. Mm. I said they came over like, we got this. Because <laughs> I was like, we met the Germany girls from thriller night and some of them we met at um neverland we mm-hmm. we were just at neverland just to be in front of the gates and i met these girls from germany mm-hmm. so one um they were like weren't you at neverland i said yeah and they were like we're from germany i said yeah i remember you because i started crying when the gates opened i was a mess that day so you know me and tori and uh, all my sisters want to manifest going to neverland because we think for michael jackson's biopic they might sh- they will shoot there and they, they need extras to. I could oh. be I, I could be Tori's mom. I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll be like, honey, we're going to see the J- Michael J- Right. So oh, I was just goodness. like, ooh wee. That I said, think big, Rob, because you literally have the the biggest thing you could have for Janet next to being on her tour. So I just say, just dream bigger, because every dream I've ever had with the Jacksons has happened. So now I just ask for ridiculous stuff now. I'd be like, I want to have dinner with Randy and Janet at Red Bamboo. Dead serious. It's a vegan spot. Hey, it can happen. Dead serious. We don't need cameras. There's been times I've been with the family. They said no cameras. I I respect it. Yes. And we just have a conversation. Mm-hmm. So, just manifesting that. Because I was like, I've done so much. Let me just ask for rid- ridiculous stuff now. Let's see how far this can go. <laughs> Let me dance with Deja Robbie and Janet. Why not? Start all in there. <laughs> so go ahead, sorry. Um I don't know if you've done this yet, but have you thought about doing maybe like um tutorial videos on like some of Michael and Janet's choreography or holding classes or anything? I never thought of I, well, I have thought about it, but I never I never like I don't know. I could, I always felt like it was as far as like teaching Michael and stuff like that like that with me that's that comes organically for me. Like I I, I don't know how to teach that. You know, that oh. is that's just something that I had to pretty much pick up and learn. Like what I do as a kid when I was a kid like Michael Jackson he used to always do like this little foot shuffle thing. Like I would literally watch it on my camera, I mean, on my VHS, and slow the video down and catch every movement of what his feet is doing. You know, that's how I learned. I can't, it's hard to teach that. It's it's a it's a feeling, it's a certain energy that you have to emote. Like, I can't. I Yo, I feel, I feel like you literally just captured, like, how he, how he learned it, because he would talk about when he was real little, you know, looking up to James Brown. And I remember yes. like there was one one interview or something where he was talking about how he was watching James Brown and he paid attention to his footwork and they moved the camera away from his feet. He's like, why ain't they showing his feet? I, I've seen that. 
I, and I understood that so much because that was exactly me doing that for him. So, and I did that. I honestly did that for Rhythm Nation too, learning like because <laughs> yeah, Rhythm Nation is a little difficult when I was a kid. No, it's difficult. I dropped out. I was a punk. I was like, <laughs> oh my god, if I could find the footage because i remember i went to the talent show i've been in several talent shows but i remember mm -hmm. when i was on stage i regret um giving up so now like like now i'm doing things that are really really hard and mm -hmm. i said don't give up it will pay off you know mm -hmm. even if you don't see it right now like this is completely unrelated but it could be part of the future have you, have you ever heard of vision pro from apple it's their yeah. vr set Mm -mm. So basically, it's a really immersive experience, like something I've never seen before. And all the tech people that I follow, they were like, no, this is going to change the future. And my first thought was Janet Jackson's team needs to be part of this because I feel like you could have dance steps and courses and stuff in the Vision mm -hmm. Pro. Because like you said, Janet Jackson's dances are really hard. But at the same time, someone like me would love to learn it. And I feel like her team should be part of that or get behind that because now that everyone's giving Janet her flowers, mm -hmm. you know, cause somebody goes, Oh, there should be a Janet Jackson experience, how they had like for connect and the we, and mm -hmm. those things don't exist anymore. Why mm -hmm. not have Janet part of the, the future of her, her average demographic is probably six, six figures. Anyway, they, they can afford that stuff. I can't, but I'm working on it, but I was just like, that would be part of the future. If you, all her dance steps are in that thing. Yeah. What? Yeah. And it feels like she's there with you or it, it's possible you could put her. She's still around. She, it's like, it's so much technology. And that's why I was like, I don't know what you're going to manifest in the future, but think big, like vision pro big, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Cause I was just like the future, the life that we know is not going to be what it is, which means you have to be so like Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, futuristic. Like you got to see things before they even come. Yeah. So yeah. I feel right. like there's so look look at Teresa making fun of the headset. Yes, it's thirty five hundred dollars, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> we're moonwalker Janet Jackson fans. We're going to manifest that money, and I mean it. <laughs> I so mean it. I was like, no, I li like the biggest thing I've ever did in the Jackson movement. I got to interview Prince. Two years ago, I'm still shocked about that stuff. What up, Prince? And um, I would say dancing with Reby was a big thing. That, that wasn't on the bingo card. It was just like, wait, what? Um, <laughs> I got to talk to Latoya for 20 minutes and ask the most ridiculous questions. And not like not bad ridiculous, but like if there's no cameras, ask everything. Right. That was amazing. And that wasn't on the bingo card. So now I'll be like, oh, Let's just let's just ask for the impossible six, seven, you know, seven figures, mm -hmm. successful businesses. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. build a network. Why not? We got this. Latoya, that was that's a what was that combo? I would love to talk to her. I feel like she has a story that needs to be told. Like, yeah, yeah, she needs to tell her story because she has a lot to say. Latoya, I asked her a lot of questions about her personal life, mm -hmm. but. You know, like one question I could share publicly, I asked her, how is it what how is it to be a Jackson? So she said, what do you mean? So I remember one of my one of the downsides of doing social media is you will attract really toxic people. So some people think I know the Jacksons because I gotten so far with them. And I said, no, I promise you, I don't know them. It's just a bunch of chance, a bunch of things that just happen the way it happens. And one really bad thing happened and it, it didn't make me want to do this anymore. And I told her what happened. I was like, no, this happened, that happened. And it actually made me to be scared to get close to them because I never realized what kind of toxic energies around that family trying to get to them. Yeah. So I asked her, how does it feel to be around people that do these kind of things? You know, so she was she was just like, you know, she was talking to her manager and, you know, because I was like, I wasn't expect. I was much younger when I got into the space too. I was like, what's going on? And why did this happen? And, you know, she was just talking. It was just really cool to get her perspective. And she goes, well, this is my life and my family is tight. And I stay close to my manager and my family. And I thought that, cause I was just like, how could you be part of something that someone's just always trying to get at you? And some people are legitly toxic Yeah. and dangerous. Yes. So I was just like, huh? And it, it, for a second, it, it had me shook. You know, I, I stepped away from this space because I said, all I want to do is pers 
preserve the family and I got all these people thinking I know them and then they're trying to get me and they're doing stuff to me and I was I wasn't expecting that. Now now I'm stronger. 14 years stronger. Don't play with me. I'm older now. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep my circle tight. Like yeah. some people get mad at me cuz I'm like like some people ask for my phone number. Nope. Mhm. Absolutely not. Mhm. Absolutely not. And I have my reason for it because of this this one situation that went so left. But now I know like that's part of the industry. That is part of life. You're going to find that in every avenue, Gadget Avenue, Jackson Avenue. You've just got that handful of people that just do really weird, messed up stuff for no reason. Scamming people. Scammers is the number one issue. That's on all the things that I do. Mm-hmm. I do Dr. Sabi, they're scammers. I do gadget stuff, they're scammers. I do Jackson stuff, they're scammers. So now, like in New York, we won't even endorse people unless they're part of the New York network because something happened. Mm-hmm. Wow. So it's it sucks. It's like I do scammers, get it together, get a yeah. job, create a job, but don't don't victimize people. It's not cool. Yeah, it's not. It's 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 not good at all. All right, y'all. Let me make sure I didn't miss any comments. Tori, do you have any last questions for our new member of our YouTube family? <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know if you asked this already because I was trying to, I'm like, I was between my phone and like the computer and stuff. So I don't know if I missed um, if you asked this already. But my question for Robbie is, you know, now like, do, do you have like any, goals for the future artists you would like to work with or you know as a creative and a dancer do you have any um goals or things you you would like to do well i i'm just one of those um blowing the wind type of people like i have many many goals but um my main goal i just really i honestly want to get more affiliated with janet honestly like i just the whole camp and just the whole experience alone. Like I felt like I was right at home. Wow. That whole time. And I was just like, I need to be here. Like, so that's where I'm at right now. Oh, so we are the same wave about what we want for you then. Yes. Like, you can dance like them. Why not? I listen. I wish it's so much more I can say. Like, my life has changed because of Janet and Michael. Like, and I would be there at the drop of a dime. Any second, call me, I'm there anytime. Do you ever have like, a, I call it a pre-bag packed? So basically it'd be your toiletries, underwear. So if somebody goes, Robbie, I need you on a plane in about three hours. Do you have that bag ready? <laughs> no, but I mean, we get it get ready. ready in that time. Get it ready. We'll get it ready. We'll make like, it happen. Um, on my one i have a fourth channel forming because it's like you can't ask god for stuff unless you're really ready for it so i'm showing people like how i'm preparing for the impossible but i asked god was so big i won't even say it out loud right because i don't want nobody to block it Mm -hmm. except god's the only one can block what i'm what i but i'm like i'm starting to learn like you're starting to get phone calls and things quicker Mm -hmm. and people like are you ready and i'm like oh i'm not ready so let me get that to go bag ready get that bag ready I hear you. You ready for what you're asking for? I will say this though, from somebody who got these bags under my eyes, you, you gonna lose some sleep, but it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> I don't get enough sleep as it is. It's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <It's boring. laughs> oh my gosh! Please. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I got up in the middle of the night Tori and June, uh, Junior was doing a stream live like 3, 4 in the morning this is like on a Sunday morning I was going to jump in but I was like I'm not sleeping and I'm like no you need to go to sleep right. but so I was like what are they doing I'm so late in the morning <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, you have sleep we kept asking about you <laughs> we're like yeah where's Trish I you saw y'all there? and I said not today Satan I need to sleep because it's like <laughs> You know, I got three channels working now, Tori. It is the mm-hmm. hardest thing I've done since college. And it's like, plus I go to work. I'm a manager. So you're Ooh. like, you got a job job. Yeah. And you're doing three channels with three different fandoms. No, that's work work. And they never, they always say never do more than one channel. I can't figure out who to keep. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so I was like, no, my gut says do all three. You got this. Just don't have a life though. <laughs> oh, 
But in a way, you kind of kind of are like it's your passions and stuff. And oh, I love it. I love everything I do. I love everything you guys see is literally my mom. My mom was a nerd. She was a music lover mm -hmm. and she loved food. Now she wasn't vegan though. I'm the only vegan, but my mom had taught me never limit yourself and always have faith that God wouldn't give you more than you can handle. I think I can handle three channels, but then I have to have limits. Like, okay, if Tori and Junior's up three in the morning, I can't be up with them because I usually get up four in the morning to shoot now. Mm, so wow. I can't, you know what I'm saying? It's like I can't play this game because you have to get sleep. Mm -hmm. But I, I love it. This is the first time I've done something this hard and I love every moment of it. Well, I'm very happy for what I do. I was like, you got this. You got it. <laughs> You got to be happy with what you do. You got to be. That's a blessing. Oh, somebody finally made it to a live. Yes. Uh, Rob, I, maybe we'll do more daytime rides. I'll only do nighttime lives because everybody's usually at work. But yeah, there's enough in people in here that made me go, okay, maybe we could do a couple in the daytime. Because mm -hmm. we got some people from Europe. Yes, Teresa Europe. writes, stay ready. Yes. <laughs> Heck yeah. Your life is going, your life is already changing. It's, just be ready for it, though. That's all I can say. I am ready, y'all. I'm so ready. <laughs> that bag together. <laughs> oh, what's up, Devon? Are you going to Thriller Night next year? Are you getting your money ready? Oh, my gosh. My biggest fear is they're going to raise the price again. So the last, so when we went, the first mm -hmm. year it was 1200 1, The second year was $1,500. i am like, y'all better not go past $1,500. <laughs> I don't like it might be 18 this time. Right? <laughs> oh no please don't say that because i know this, we right. hoping tori come tori didn't go the last time but that's how i met Teresa. that's Teresa right here uh this uh dj rock was there mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's the most incredible thing you could ever experience that's what i'm gonna say because you love the way. jacksons so you'll get it yeah. yeah if you don't love the jacksons the way we do Put the money in your bank and save it for something else. This is <laughs> someone who understands the history, the legacy of the Jacksons shooting. You know, their, their studio still there. Wow. I think the the studio where Janet was recording, that's how she got discovered from Joe. The one at the top of where she's singing. Yeah, I that makes sense. It would be at Havenhorf. Wow. That is so ah, cool. I would love to go there. No, seriously, Robbie, save now. Like like I try to put, I'm not gonna say how much I save a, a month because then my family be like, "Oh my god, you're saving money." Let me get it. No, um, but I put a certain amount every month. Uh -huh. I'm just waiting for it. Go for it. Like I know I'm going. I don't care. <laughs> I put it on a credit card. <laughs> Sell my collectibles. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing the thing is is um, I can tell, I can tell you that. I think you'll love it, Robbie, because you really have a respect for him. Like, you'll get some fans who are like, I "This ain't Michael, worth it," right? Right. But the, the bad mouth, like one of the one of the family members and stuff like that. But like, you you genuinely have like a respect for the whole family. Like, I can just tell. Yeah. And so, I think Thriller Nights is gonna be right up your alley. Like. Yo, what this I, dude tried to play us. He said the next price will be five thousand. Then I won't look. Then I won't be there. <laughs> so I, my, I said my max is fifteen hundred. To be honest, but uh, I'm gonna do a GoFundMe. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. That's a, a good idea. Good idea. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, you should do it, Tori. You got a nice following. When's do. my next? Oh, that's a good question. Tori, can you pull up the um this will be a good thing to end on too? Can you pull up your event tomorrow? If if you could, I don't know if you could. Um, Ter Teresa writes, um, the thrill night was it was very surreal. That's the only thing. It doesn't feel like you're really there. It takes like days to process you were there. Mm. It's very surreal. Like I've done it twice and I still I'm still trying to process like so you dance with Chris Tucker, you spoke to Prince. Like it's the most surreal thing ever, and then I have a love for three T, like Michael and Janet. Yeah. So I jumped on Taj. I apologize for that because I just I freaked out so bad. 
like it was just so unprofessional of me but it's like i couldn't put it in words like what i was feeling and uh, when i saw him i was calm in the beginning i said oh i'm not gonna freak out like i did with tj lies i did worse i jumped on him at least with tj i just screamed <laughs> with Taj, the next thing you know i was like like a little kid and i just hugged him but he was so sweet about it. But I, I say this for the fifth thousand time. Do not do that to any of the Jackson. Some of them will be like security. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the right one. But, you know, and they're so, so sweet. Like, so sweet. Very. very. Uh, thank you. That's This is funny. I played that game with Prince and 3T sometimes, right? There was something else someone asked you. What was your favorite Michael Jackson song? I can't find that question. I should have started that. Uh, they don't really care about us. Oh, ah. that's my favorite Michael. Song. Go to his YouTube channel. He has a tribute there. <laughs> so let's it. add. So it won't be my next stream, and I can't even say if I'll be a guest on her channel because I'm at work tomorrow. So, but please head over to Invincible Jackson's. Uh, Invincible, take over. What is tomorrow's thing about? So tomorrow is Michael Jackson Victory Day. And uh, basically 18 years ago, June 13th, 2005, um, Michael Jackson was vindicated of all the lies and allegations against him in court. And we basically celebrate his innocence on this day. Um, you know, we talk about his innocence and stuff. And so last year I took on like, I feel like there's different ways to celebrate and defend him. Last year, I really was coming from the perspective of like, you know, how he was like very childlike, how he was, you know, his kindness, they they twisted his kindness and stuff. And, you know, basically the world's like, oh, I want good, we should have good people and da 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 But when, you know, when they had Michael, it was like, oh, he's weird. And they, and they lied and stuff. This year, I really want to focus on defending him in a, a different way by showing who he was. I think that's a great way to, um, you know, show people like we could say, oh, no, he didn't do this. He didn't do this. But I feel like we also have to show who he was. So tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time, I'm, I'm going to be doing a live watch party Um of the humanitarian, the real Michael Jackson documentary and mm -hmm. a little backstory that it was created by Paul Dwyer, who's an author. And in 2018, he created or wrote a book with the same title. And then this is just a documentary adaptation of it. And it, it goes through different humanitarian acts um, of his. And I watched part of it and I was like, Oh Lord, I can't do it. So I cut it off, but I'm going to dive back into it and watch it with y'all so that's awesome uh, as i do every watch party have a second device ready some snacks and um we're gonna watch it i can't put it on the screen don't wanna i want to give paul the views so i don't want like any copyright issues or anything um and then after that 7 30 p.m eastern time i'm gonna do a station head streaming party and if you don't know, Station Head is a way to listen to music together with other fans and people who love the same music as you. Um, you have to have Spotify Premium or pay for Apple Music, and it, it'll connect to one of those streaming services, and that's how you listen to it. And then, um, basically, like I'll be, I'll just be playing music, and I'm gonna try and play music that shows who Michael was, and. Uh, you know, just like songs like Scream and stuff, you know, that show like how frustrated he was about the lies. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure how long that's going to go, but you know, sometimes we there all night. <laughs> so come in, come go as you please. So somebody who said they wanted to be a guest on your thing, Tori. Um, DJ Rock, I'm not sure if you're following Invincible Jackson, but if if she's having a guest, it's going to be a short live because she's doing the station head. Uh, hit her up. <laughs> um, um, and don't forget guys we definitely want to make Janet Jackson season a thing so make sure you check out my previous live about just the whole history and why I think we should have a MJ season mm -hmm. and hold up I gotta make sure we, we show love 
about how I met Rob because I had a vlog about that. I was like, what are the chances? I mean, he'll tell you it was late. There was no way we were supposed to bump into each other, but we did anyway. And I'm surprised you even noticed me because I think I have my hoodie on. Let so. me tell you about me. <laughs> the, I am a bigger fan of the fans than anything because that. the fans are the reason why all this is possible. Okay. Yep. The reason why people were able to prove my, Michael was innocent, the reason why Nipplegate didn't become a thing, the fans. So I make it a business to learn who the fans are because this is possible because of y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm like, of course I recognize you. I was literally like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen about Janet Jackson. I think you're the only fans that were up there. I might be wrong on that. Mm -hmm. but I, like, I don't remember any of the fans unless they were celebrities or celebrity-ish. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, wait, what? One of us really can go on the stage for real? What? <laughs> so make sure you guys check out this vlog. That's how I met Rob. Changed my life. I feel like something something beautiful will happen because of this one second I had. Like, hey, do a dance for me. You know, like, it was just so cool how I met you. And I really manifested because I was like, I'm keeping this story. It's going to be relevant one day. I love that. Thank and you. I'm like, what are the chances? Because that was a much longer clip, but you 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 know the it was an interview about you. I'm like, no, I'm just gonna interview him, cut that whole thing out. But yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um uh I guess let me just get the screen. How do you get this part? Here we go. Put us on the bottom now. <laughs> um, Rob, tell everybody how we could find you on Instagram and YouTube and all the fun th stuff with that. Yes, my Instagram, you can find me at Robbie, R-O-B-B-Y underscore B. Um, uh, YouTube, you can find me at Robbie, I believe is underscore R-N-B. Um, or if not, you could just type in my name, Robbie Boyer, and it'll I'll just pop up right there. <laughs> All right. I will leave his links in the description bar. Um, Tori, I guess I'll see you tomorrow because I need to see Hold up, hold up. Teresa's funny. She said, Robbie, low key, uh, I'm low-key jealous of that photo. Right? Listen, <laughs> yo, when I be on a train sometimes, I will purposely pull out my phone and have hopefully somebody see it like, that. that's me next to Janet. <laughs> you should make it into a t-shirt and back. I right. met this guy named, um, do you watch Star Wars? No, I don't. All right, so I, I'm a nerd nerd. So I watched Star Wars, and I flew all the way to Florida to meet Hayden Christensen. I okay. took that picture and made it a bag and a T-shirt. And every time I go to Comic-Con, everyone's like, I know you from YouTube because of our, the video went viral. Uh, so I was like, what? I met Dark. Well, I'm not on the dark side, just in case, because my church member had a little shave with me the other day. I don't represent the dark side, but for those who watch Star Wars, Dark Vader is not what you think. That's all I'm going to say. He's a, he's a complicated villain. <laughs> it's like he's, he's a Jedi who lost his way. So I was just like, I'm not representing the evilness. I'm representing the re redemption from, uh, uh, spoiler alert, but right. the point is, it's a complicated villain. Because <laughs> my church was like, I saw your Instagram. I went, Lord, oh, here we go. You clearly don't watch Star Wars. Here we go. <laughs> I was like, but I made that a bag. I walk around like, yes, you right. better make it a bag. You met, and you got such an intimate picture with her. Right. You know what? And that was on purpose because it was Tomo. She was about to take a picture of me. She's like, you want to, you want me to take it or you want a selfie? And I'm like, you know what? I think a selfie will be better. I'm like, oh, wow. A selfie? And then she was with it. You made the look how good you are. Uh, you look good, like you living your best life. Like that, it's giving me, giving me my best life energy because it was. <laughs> it, it really was a moment, and then oh. it would, it tripped me out because I was like, I didn't know she was gonna wear that, and we was matching the same colors. I was like, this is a perfect picture. <laughs> wow. I was gonna wear a camouflage, but I thought it was gonna fly everybody's head. But you know, because I do these Jackson family fashion segments, and mm. Janet Jackson is literally the biggest fashion influence. I've had since I was probably 12. Mm -hmm. So I, to this day, follow her. I don't wear the same brands because I'm vegan now. So I just wear Stella McCartney, but I'll do Stella McCartney, Janet Jackson influence things. Like I got these huge shoes. Oh my God. I paid a lot of money for them <laughs> like, for, <laughs> for me. Cause you know, I ain't rich like her, but every time I wear them, I think of her. They're black and white. I don't know if y'all saw the picture of her black and white blocky shoes, but I got like a Stella McCartney version. I was just like, I love Janet. I love her fashion. Like everything she wears, I buy. I just love her. 
but not the same brand, just similar. Similar, yeah. Janet influenced. Janet, are you ever going to go vegan so we could wear Janet like vegan fashion? <laughs> <laughs> I know she's vegan ish sometimes because she she she's plant based. I would say she's a plant based person, mm -hmm. which means she probably eats vegan food, but probably eats meat still. And I know she wears leather based on the brand she wears. So she's probably mm -hmm. like a plant based person, not mm -hmm. a vegan. But I'm a vegan vegan. I have my reasons. But, you know, I let people do what they want. You know, if you want to eat chicken, that's your journey. My my journey is no chicken. <laughs> like, you know. Oh, snap. I'm, I'm on that journey trying to get off of uh, meat and stuff like that. Well, yeah. with my family, unfortunately, I've lost, uh, like, most of my family through, like, food death related stuff. Like, that's a lot. If it was one person, maybe. But I think we're up to six people now. So I'm like, oh, hell no. And then literally I almost died because, uh, was it two months ago, Tori? For a calcium deficiency. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah. Two months? Is yeah. That two months? It's almost three months in Ju Ju I think, yeah, it's been two months already. So That's with my family, though, meat wipes us out every time. Like, you have, like, heart, it's just weird. So I don't mm -hmm. mess with meat no more. I'm, I'm good, good. Like, we yeah. good, good. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's not good at all. It's one of them things, like, if you can't go vegan, I always tell people, like, cut the meat down at least into half. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. just cut that down as you go. Because I'm like, it, it is extreme for some people. But I was just like, I'm good on this. I'm so good. Like, yeah. ah, oh, snap. Everybody just loving your selfie. You yeah. are glowing. He's giving me that Janet Jackson glow. Like, yes, I got <laughs> money, too. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the skincare routine. <laughs> Right? It's like, what? <laughs> you ever see that TikTok of that beautiful guy and they go, are you real? That's that moment. Like, is your face real? Are you real? <laughs> <laughs> now, is, did you get the Janet eye contact I as well? I got it all. The <laughs> oh, eye contact, all of that. All of that. Like, when she looked at me, you can literally, her eyes is literally piercing right through you. Like, she has some beautiful eyes. Like, Aren't they the widest eyes you've ever seen? It's so big, almost like and cartoonish. So, yes, like, and it's they're like really white. Like she she sleeps all day. Like they're just so right. pretty. Ooh, you know who else has those eyes? Latoya, Austin Brown, TJ. Like it. Oh my God, uh, Paris Jackson. I remember when I seen her at the house. Mm -hmm. She looked at me and I'm like, "You have your daddy's eyes. They're just blue." Oh wow. It's, it's that same piercing thing that you're talking about, like Janet. Is am I? Like, oh my god! Because if you look at Debbie Rose's eyes, Debbie Rose's eyes are blue, but they're small. Yeah. Jackson's eyes, they're big, it, and it that's is. why I like right. connect with them because we feel it through the screen. We're like, oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not all of them have it, but the ones that have it, you're like, oh my god, your eyes are so big and pretty. Yes, mm. I always say that about her. Like, wow. And that's the first when I first met her in person. That's I always noticed that she had a beautiful face, of course. But when I seen her in person the first time, she was sitting down at an audition table. And I went up to shake her hand. And she was sitting down and she looked up at me like this. And I'm like, oh, wow, you're beautiful. Like, yo, your house is so big and beautiful. I never peeped that in person. But yeah, it's very much what it is. Teresa said Terrell got them eyes too. It would have been nice if I met Terrell and then I just found out to Teresa earlier that if I went to that uh, one in Tennessee he was there. Yep. Uh, listen, Terrell be hiding. Terrell be the only one that, who won't be at Thriller Night and I'm like, Terrell, come on, bro. Mm. <laughs> at this point, get yourself a tarot talk <laughs> at this point. <laughs> oh, you're right. Have you heard of that, Rob? I have not. So you could book for like, was it fifty to seventy five dollars? You can you can talk to them one on one, like oh, really? by video conference. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never knew that. Mm hmm. Uh, you're right. I need to book it because Terrell be hiding, and then like even though he's touring with the brothers, because Marlins took a time out. Mm -hmm. It's in. It's not in New York. Yeah. So there's that. Look, MJ has beautiful eyes. Yes. Yeah. So you know, I might have to add. So does Robbie. Now that I think about it, look at Robbie's eyes. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm here for it. I ain't flirting with you. Because everybody, everybody knows I'm the toys for flirting people. I said, <laughs> but you got right, Tori? I be getting Randy. Yeah. <laughs> and who's that other MJ fan? Almost MJ. <laughs> Carlo. Carlo. 
<laughs> so be like, hi, Carlo. <laughs> I'm so socially awkward. It just comes with who I am. Oh, Teresa goes to Terrell talks to her 75 to 150. It's worth it though. Yeah, that's no, he was in Teresa. Teresa, I will. Terrell, when was he in New York? Well, we didn't get Teresa on alive. Wait a minute. How do you see my face, right? (laughs) I need to know how many Terrell talks Teresa does. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Because I only did even ha- I was happy until now. <laughs> that was me when I found out about Randy Marlon. About that. Well, Marlon, but I don't know why. But seeing that 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 video with Randy, I was literally like, Randy, where were you? Where I've been you? looking for Randy since Michael died. So what are we talking? Fourteen years in a few. Fourteen years in yeah. real life. I ain't gonna lie. I like him, like him. I ain't trying to be his wife. But you know, if you open, <laughs> he know, like I like I like him because I like him. I'm right. just throwing it out there. I'm gonna manifest the most impossible thing on the planet, Randy Jackson's wife. Why not? <laughs> so what are the chances? The only one you legitly like. I don't even like celebrities. I have my own reasons with the celebrities. I mm-hmm. like this one. He said he's into God, and he seems like you know he's changed from his past. I'm here for a good redemption. That's why I like Dark Vader. So I was like. <laughs> Oh, let's just go out for dinner. See what happens. I'm just throwing it out there. That's what I said. Might, that's what I'm just throwing it out there. I don't care. You might well. You, you never well. know. Shoot, you guys see some of my exes. They fine. Shout out to all my exes. <laughs> <laughs> they not cute. They fine. One was a model. Ooh, we. Okay, mm. model. Yeah, it didn't work out, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing with industry people. It's complicated. Yeah. Um, Ooh, what do you mean we? We work on music. What? What? Wait, wait, what's going on, Teresa? I'm about to cry. You working on music with? Wait, what's going on? Hold up. Yep, he was here right before they went to camp, and she didn't tell me this until now. Mm. Ter- uh, Teresa, I thought we were cool. I thought we were cool, Teresa. They must. He must. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we don't get off this live because I don't want to get nobody in trouble because I'm sitting here like, wait, what? <laughs> you know fault. what? The day I meet Terrell, it'll be probably a good thing because I'm not ready because of what happened with Taj. Like, even though I didn't see Taj last year, I'm kind of glad I didn't because I was so embarrassed what happened the year before. So I was like, I just need to relax because I, I love three, like I said, like Michael and Janet. And it's just like, I don't know how you stay calm with Janet, but God, God bless you. Because mm-hmm. I was crying before I met Janet, um, but I got it together by the time I saw her. I met her at a book signing, mm. but they didn't allow pictures. So I'm trying to get a picture with Janet. Yeah. So I was like, I'll pay for the picture. Just make it like, can I have it happen? Yeah. Oh, man. So we'll answer this last thing. She talked how many Terrell talks I do. Oh, Y'all work uh, on music together? Wow. I thought she was just doing tarot talks. No, oh, she's a she's an artist. I don't know if you remember Teresa's an artist. I don't small world, right? <laughs> Wait. That good luck, that good luck to you. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Look, where look I'm at Taurus. You can tell she lost her voice. Like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't know where I've been. I'm so sorry. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. She used to be an artist, if I remember right. And then she, I think Teresa got three or four degrees, correct? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do remember that. All right. Yeah, Any last words, Mr. Robbie? No, that not not really, but I would like to say thank you so much. Just uh this was so fun. It just feels good to be around or to just meet new people in the the Jackson community, not just the MJ, not just the Janet, the Jacksons. Yeah, that's why I had to throw Tori on that said, No, you gotta meet Tori. She's so passionate. I was like, Oh my gosh, she, she's like us, you won't believe it. Yeah. The only thing is she's like half my age. And I'm like, what? She up uh, Teresa got four degrees. You go, girl. <laughs> That's to that. Like you tell Terrell if you see Terrell say there's a awesome woman in New York <laughs> that will the willing to go to Tennessee. I want to do a gadget trip video with Terrell, surprisingly, because he likes gadgets like I do. Mm. Ooh. Uh, okay. I was like, mm-mm. I can't find the outro music. And I can't figure out how to get us off of here. I'm just gonna keep us <laughs> on the screen. 
All right, y'all. Thank you, Robbie. You made my day. I knew I was going to meet you because I said, I want to meet him. And look what happened. I was like, aren't you the guy from the Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so And keep much. inspiring people. Like, you live, like, the most impossible dream ever. And that, that was the whole point of this thing is just, like, keep dreaming and just don't limit yourself. Right. Thank you so much. Thank Anything you, so you need from me, you know how to contact me. Absolutely. Say, Trisha, hey, are you free? I'm usually free on Monday, just to throw that out there. That's the only day I'm free. I need you to help me shoot something. I got you. I'm one of them people, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch you. Just give me enough time notice, you know. I feel you. So it's just like, hold up, somebody else. And he's vegan, too. Damn, but he's taken. Now, I'll, <laughs> stick, I'll stick to Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I being so messy? <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for watching this afternoon live. There'll definitely be more. I can't believe all y'all are here right now. And until make sure you follow Robbie and Tori, and of course myself. And until my next post, Gadget Trish from the I Love the Jackson family is out. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you so much. Hey. I love live. Don't y'all love live? Yes. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to press in.